So while solving the previous problem, we have obtained that C1 value as C1 is equal to 3 by 4 and C2 is equal to minus 3 by 4. Yeah, C2 value you can find using equation 2 or equation 3 also. Now the question, uh, now we had the first equation as x is equal to c1 e power 2t plus c2 into e power minus 2t since we got the roots as plus 2 and minus 2. Now how to, now we got the value of c1, c2 right. Now we will substitute in this equation and simplify that. C1 value we have got it as 3 by 4 into e power 2t minus C2 value as 3 minus 3 by 4 into e power minus 2t. So, we here 3 by 2 is common. So, you can keep 3 by 4 outside and you will obtain 3 by e to the power 2t minus e to the power minus 2t. So, this is the general solution of the given question that is d square x by dt square minus 4 x is equal to 0 when x is equal with the three conditions given that is x is equal to 0, t is equal to 0 and another one is dx by dt is equal to 3. So, this is how we solve and find the roots when we are having the auxiliary solution or roots of the auxiliary equation as real image uh, sorry real and distinct and another one is real and repeated roots. Now what if the roots are imaginary? How to find the solutions of that? How to write the general solution? Okay, so I will consider the homogeneous equation of second degree <coughs> that is second order linear homogeneous differential equation that is f of d into y is equal to 0. Now, suppose I said imaginary root. So, suppose a plus i b is a root of this equation that is f of d into y is equal to 0. So, clearly you know that if a plus b, i b is a root of that then a minus i b is also the root of the given equation f of d into y is equal to 0. So, we, uh, while finding the root what we do is we will substitute f of m is equal to 0 that is auxiliary equation and find the roots of that. So, in this auxiliary equation both these are the roots of that auxiliary equation. So, general solution we can write it as y is equal to c1 into e to the power a plus ib plus c2 into e to the power a minus i. Right. So, here once again I can split that as c1 into e power a into e power ib plus c2 into e power a into e power minus ib. Observe here e power a is common in both. So, I can take out and write c1 e power ib plus c2 into e power minus ib. So, you know uh, one thing that is e power i x is nothing but cos x plus i sin x whereas what is e power minus i x? e power minus i x is nothing but cos x minus i sin x. But here we are having e power i b and e power minus i b. So, I can further substitute that and write y is equal to e power a into c1 into e power ib. So, that is nothing but cos, cos b plus yeah cos bx plus i sin bx. Next we are having as e power minus ib. So, I will get plus c2 into cos bx minus i sin bx. So, observe here once again I will get c1 cos bx plus c2 cos bx. So, in both cos bx is common. So, we can write it as e power ax into c1 plus c2 into cos bx. Once again here 
c1 i sin bx plus minus c2 i sin bx. So, here we will get plus c1 i minus c2 i into sin bx. So, what I will do is I will represent the c1 plus c2 as one different constant and c1 i minus c2 i as different constant. So, here we will get e power ax into I will use C3 here for the representation purpose where C3 is nothing but C1 plus C2 into cos Bx plus this as C4 sin Bx. So, if we are having the auxiliary equation with the imaginary roots, then we can write the general solution as y is equal to e power ax into a constant into cos bx plus c4 into sin bx. Okay, now we will solve a problem related to this. Okay, the problem is given as d cube minus 3d square plus 9d plus 13 into y is equal to 0. Now, you have to find uh, the solution for general solution for this given equation. So, first what you have to do? You have to write in auxiliary equation, find the roots of those auxiliary equation. So, auxiliary equation is nothing but m cube minus 3m square plus 9m plus 13 is equal to 0. Next what you have to do? You have to find the roots of this auxiliary equation. First by trial and error method you have to find what is the first root of that. So, first if I substitute 0, I will not get the it is equal to 0. So, if I substitute 1, once again 1 minus 3 plus 9 plus 13, so we will not get. What if, if I substitute minus 1, minus 1, minus 3, plus minus 9, plus 13, clearly this is equal to 0. So, m plus 1, that is m is equal to minus 1 is one of the root. How to find the next root? We have to divide the equation, that is m cube minus 3m square plus 9m plus 13 using m plus 1. So, division we have, we have already done it in the previous classes. So, once again we will perform here we will get m square. So, you will get m cube minus m square plus m square. So, if I change the signs minus minus. So, this gets cancelled and you will get it as minus 4 m square plus 9 m. So, further division you have to carry out and find what is the roots of this auxiliary equation and we will discuss the further methods in our next class. Thank you.